He got himself nominated as vice president by the Whigs at their convention in December of 1839, their national convention that nominated William Henry Harrison. And of course, Tippecanoe and Tyler too defeated the incumbent Martin Van Buren in November of 1840. Harrison, as you know, died 32 days into his term. Tyler became president. This image on the right is a romanticized image of Tyler receiving news of Harrison's passing and his elevation to the presidency. Now, Harrison had declared his intention to serve only one term as president. Tyler almost desperately wanted a second term. He did not make any claim that he would serve only one term. And after being banished from the Whig ranks in September of 1841, spent much of his time trying to put himself in the position to secure election in his own right in 1844, most notably by pursuing and succeeding in getting the annexation of Texas. 